Here is a case called rheumatoid vasculitis small intestine. Well, the western part of this small intestine doesn't look too bad, does it? You can see circular smooth muscle. You can see longitudinal smooth muscle. You can see serosal connective tissue and fat surrounding the small bowel. You could see a nice submucosa. You could see what are probably plicae, which are submucosal foldings causing an increase of mucosa. And in the mucosa, you can see very, very, very nice villi, can't you? When you get to the eastern part of the small bowel, however, you're starting to see some of the real disease changes. First of all, the mucosa is absent. In other words, it's ulcerated, isn't it? Second of all, the amount of blood vessels uh, and the amount of chronic inflammation surrounding the blood vessels in the submucosa is quite intense. Uh, I'll admit that these smooth muscle layers, these circular and these longitudinal look pretty good, but we basically have a big ulcer here and a lot of big uh, blood vessels that are dilated and chronically inflamed. Oh, here's another one out here. Let's take a look at this. Well, I'm about to become very angry right now because uh, here we are in the middle of a Saturday afternoon and the computers appear to be all uh, traffic jammed again. Anyway, in these blood vessels you can see that they are, are cuffed by a significant amount of chronic inflammatory cells and the walls of these blood vessels appear once again a fibrinoid necrotic or having that uh, type of necrosis in which the uh, blood vessel wall looks like fibrin. So we have both acute and chronic inflammatory cells surrounding these blood vessels with fibrinoid necrosis of the vessel. This is a vasculitis. So now you know that rheumatoid arthritis is not just merely an arthritis and it's not just merely a synovitis. It is a systemic disease involving many areas. In fact, any area of the body that has a blood vessel, which most parts of the body do, can be affected by these uh, neutrophils and chronic inflammatory cells causing a vasculitis uh, throughout the wall of the blood vessel causing fibrinoid necrosis of the wall. This is a rheumatoid vasculitis of the small bowel in somebody that has rheumatoid arthritis. Thank you very much.